Long ago, when the king came to your city, he brought the king's peace. This meant people living received special protection under his laws. God also brings a king's peace, and one that is more profound and powerful than any earthly king can offer. Today we are lighting the angel's candle. This candle represents the message of peace the angels proclaim. Peace can come in many forms, and as seekers of the peace in Hazleton, we have asked people what it is they love about the city. Hi, my name is Karina, and today we're outside of Jimmy's Quick Lunch in Hazleton, and we're going to be asking some people some questions today. One of our school's goals is to seek peace in the city of Hazleton. What do you love about our city? About our city, that is a city that is growing every day. That is a city where you can live with certain peace. And that is growing with people from different countries, but at the same time we are learning to live with our different backgrounds. Thank you. Hazleton has been growing in popularity. I feel like with the more popularity that has came in, it has invested more in taxes, so it has helped the community look better and fix up uh, streets and everything else. Uh, my church is here. Grace Baptist is here. I enjoy that uh, and our time with the, uh, our uh, congregation. Um, I enjoy places like this, uh, Jimmy's. Um, you know, it's part of the city. It's just as much, uh, you know, uh, just as much of the city as anything else. And uh, the kids. And sports. Do what? With the sports. Yeah, I enjoy the sports here. I, I coached. I coached for a long time here, but uh, I just enjoy the people. People are good. They're good, good people. There's been a lot happening at ICS this year. Things may look different than normal, but there's a lot of learning taking place. And today, we asked Chancellor Nolden how history and literature can help us understand our place as peacemakers. So one of the things we do at Emmanuel Christian School is we study literature and history, and the value in doing that is to understand how fragile peace is in, in the historical context. And it also shows how much the world needs Jesus Christ. So that's uh, what brings us true peace. Thank you, Mr. Nolden. This month, we're hoping to spread peace to our families and communities. Did you know that 50% of our students live below the poverty line? Which is why this month, we want to make an ICS education affordable for more families. Our goal is to raise the full tuition for one student every week of Advent. So please join us in providing a financially accessible, grace-filled, Christ-centered education designed to promote lifelong learners with character and integrity. Thank you, and have a peace-filled week. <laughs>